A fascinating research article from the University of Norway in 2017 asked this question. Are different parts of the brain active when we type on a keyboard as opposed to when we draw visual images on a tablet? The study was conducted by a husband and wife team, Professors Audrey van der Meer and Ruud van der Weel, some very accomplished professors of psychology and neuroscience with access to a funky hairnet. Their study was called Only Three Fingers Right but the whole brain works. A high density EEG study showing advantages of drawing over typing for learning. The study thoroughly references existing research on the cognitive processes associated with note taking. For example, they reference studies from Kaira in 1985 and 1989, discussing how note taking styles interact with memory encoding and processing and affect learning. They also reference the Mueller and Oppenheimer study of 2014 that we previously discussed. But van der Meer and van der Weel point out that most of the research on handwriting and learning was conducted well before computers became available in classrooms. And even Mueller and Oppenheimer's study in 2014 looked at the difference between typing on a computer versus writing notes on paper. With this study, van der Meer and van der Weel wanted to watch the effect of writing on a computer screen versus typing on a computer keyboard. Mueller and Oppenheimer's study suggested that different cognitive processes were in play when people took notes with the pen versus the keyboard. And they surmised that this cognitive process was really oriented around whether people took verbatim or abstract notes. So this study was based around that idea that typers engaged in shallow processing and handwriters engaged in more extensive processing, as they describe in the paper. Based on the cognitive processing dichotomy of shallow versus deep encoding, we designed an experiment to investigate electrophysiological differences in brain activity that could explain the differences underlying traditional keyboard and more modern stylus technology writing. So Professors van der Meer and van der Weel placed an electroencephalograph or an EEG device with 256 sensors onto the heads of 20 subjects who are asked to perform tasks with a keyboard and with a pen. Microsoft Europe loaned Surface Pro 4 devices to use in this experiment. Participants were given three different tasks, typing visual words on a keyboard, describing visual words on a keyboard, and drawing visual words with a surface pen. This study in itself did not compare handwriting words to drawing a picture of the word, because it was assumed that drawing the word and handwriting the word involved similar cognitive processes. A subsequent study released in 2020 by the same authors further investigates the link between handwriting and drawing pictures and they found that they are slightly different, but more similar to each other than to typing. Van der Meer described the results. The use of pen and paper gives the brain more hooks to hang your memories on. Writing by hand creates much more activity in sensory motor parts of the brain. A lot of senses are activated by pressing the pen on paper, seeing the letters you write, and hearing the sound that you make while writing. These sense experiences create contact between different parts of the brain, and open the whole brain up for learning. We both learn better and remember better. And as shown in their latest 2020 study, handwriting and drawing seem to be more alike compared to typewriting. From this study, van der Meer and van der Weel conclude, it seems that keyboards and pens bring into play different underlying neurological processes. This may not be surprising since handwriting and drawing is a complex task that requires integrations of various skills. Children, for example, take several years to master this precise skill. They have to learn how to hold the pen firmly while producing a different print for each letter. Operating a keyboard is something completely different, since all one has to do is press the right key. And the typing movement is the same, whatever the letter. Unlike typing, handwriting is the result of unique sensory motor movement of the body. In their studies, they saw much broader, more integrated activity across the brain when handwriting and drawing compared to typing. I believe that it's this combination of motor skills and senses that explains why you remember things when you write them down. Here's what van der Meer had to say about what to use and when. Writing by hand requires control of your fine motor skills and senses. It's important to put the brain in a learning state as often as possible. I would use a keyboard to write an essay but I'd take notes by hand during a lecture. Our brains are highly geared up for visual stimulus. You'll know this by looking at the most used apps on your phone. 
they're likely to include one or many of these five apps. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. These are the most used apps in the world for good reason. They're designed to tap into your bias for visual stimuli. In the same way that slot machines and casinos are designed to keep you playing. These apps operate on the very valid premise that visual interest buys your time. We'll leave some links to the Van der Meer and Van der Wiel studies below. From these studies, it stands to reason that a device like the Surface Pro with its pen can help you to take back control of your visual brain. So if you want to learn how to harness the power of your visual and spatial brain to improve focus, memory and processing, then you're in the right place. Hit like and subscribe and we'll see you next Wednesday with a summary of the research that we've shared so far.